Deep inside a lab in northern Italy, a rather special machine is coming to life. This is the iCub, a research robot that its creators hope will one day be able to learn like a child. This little robot's the result of three years' work. It's different from commercially available robots because of its hands, which have been designed to manipulate objects, and its ability to move its eyes and head independently. Giorgio Meta is passionate about robots and rather proud of the iCub, which at times appears to have a mind of its own. At the moment, we're running a part of the software that we call the attention system. That means that the robot uses signals coming from the cameras and processes the images coming from these cameras in an appropriate way to detect things in the environment that could be interesting. Things of interest are faces, or my hands moving around, or things that are particularly bright or particularly colourful. Now and then it moves in the direction of one of these stimuli. The iCub is the product of a multidisciplinary European project called RobotCub. It brings together experts in neuroscience, psychology and robotics to study intelligence by building what's known as a humanoid cognitive system. They want to explore the theory that humans learn through physical interaction with their environment. The robot was given highly sophisticated hands, eyes and upper body because in order to learn like a human, it should have a human form. Human intelligence and most of the things that we do depend not only on mental activity. This mental ability was built through physical interaction with the world and with the people we live with every day. The iCub is physically modelled on a two-year-old child rather than an adult. The engineers want to mimic an infant's mind and body and so begin to learn like they do. To develop adult intelligence, even though it's possible, is very, very complicated. The idea is that we start from a simpler intelligence like that of a child and give the robot the ability to improve and develop himself over time. It's not easy, but I think it's the right approach to tackle the problem. The robot could be better able to adapt to new situations over time. It would learn the way a kid does. But facing a new problem, it could learn to solve it. The robot engineers in Genoa look north for advice on how children begin to learn. The historic Swedish university town of Uppsala is home to child psychology expert Klaus von Hofsten. He's been studying infant development for 30 years. My role has been to lay out what they call the cognitive roadmap. That is, what kind of cognitive abilities should the robot develop? What kind of cognitive abilities should be built into the robot? because development is an interaction between these two kind of things. In order to evaluate the development of awareness, perception and reasoning in babies, you have to bring in the professionals. In this case, six-month-old Elias Deleuze. In this experiment, the green dot shows how his eyes follow a woman eating a banana on screen. The robot should be able to direct attention by looking at certain things uh, in the surrounding uh, and track things that move in the surrounding, just like young infants do very early. 
Han är lite stor så vi tar upp försök få upp den här. Six month old Mons Jobstrom is already well ahead of the robot in terms of awareness of his surroundings. In this experiment he learns to catch a toy in front of him. His behaviour underlines the key message that Klaus von Hofsten has passed back to his colleagues in Genoa. To develop like a child, the robot has to learn to predict. In the outside world, you cannot decide yourself when an event is going to happen. They happen independent of you, so you need to anticipate not only when they're going to happen, also where they're going to happen and how they're going to happen. You need to get there in time to be able to synchronize your actions with them. And the robot must be able to do that if it's going to be a functional, uh, versatile robot. Back in Genoa, the robotics team knows it's facing a difficult task. Even establishing the base level of cognitive skills needed to begin learning is a demanding process. At the moment there are two things that remain problematic. The first is the artificial vision, the ability to see and understand what's around it. And the second problem is to be able to learn from its mistakes. This robot will eventually be used as a research tool. It's a common platform with open source software and hardware. There are orders for 19 iCubs to be built for research institutions around Europe. This idea of discovering the working of things by building them is definitely not new, but started in Leonardo da Vinci's age and carries on today. From my point of view, building a better robot comes from a better understanding of our condition, and really the fact that we can manage to build a model of ourselves, of our minds, gives us in some way a guarantee that we've actually understood how it works. The iCub represents the beginning of a process that will keep the robot and its creators busy for years to come.